So if somebody's down there in the manhole, I understand. If not, just kick the manhole back. Because that happened on my street the one day. Some gang stalker flipped the the manhole up. It wasn't something that was random. It was purposely done. I think, it, and I think it was aimed directly at my wife because with her car it's lower and the the manhole was flipped up that way as you're driving towards it it'll just smash the front end it's not like you'll run it over as a ramp it's the exact opposite the, the front of it's flipped up towards you in order to damage the vehicle and then I realized oh there's there's like 10 manholes on my block because then my attention was drawn to it because there's some evil little critter that decided to flip that manhole up purposely to try to damage somebody's car it's the, the things like that become sickening just the thought of it alone like wow you evil sons of bitches you got no regard, always trying to cause trouble in people's lives. Devils. So when, when, when? Can I get a confirmation one last time, please? I need it from two or three people. When does it end? I'm not talking to the gang stalkers themselves. I'm not talking to the blind. I'm, I'm talking to the people that run this entire planet system and they have YouTube channels. Can you confirm how long? I mean, the latest has to be two years. So, instead of being disappointed when nothing happens this year and nothing happens last year and the year before that and the year I started YouTube nothing happened that year so today is nothing but stall so we got the stall kings here there's one up ahead of us there's two of them so we got the manhole and then we got this the stall kings it's not that they're stalking you they're stalling you and they're the kings of it I heard SJD say something about 24 to 48 more months of are you working on your Mexican restaurant thing the, the the lunch truck and I was thinking before I even watched the video how long like that question how long has this been going on how long does it have to continue for because I was also watching a video earlier SJD and he said this is a uh the beginning of a three-year process is getting ready to start and that was back in 2018 at that process and I think it was maybe it was like in um, October or something but isn't three years up already and what process was that to start I'm, I'm asking real questions I'm not trying to be a smart ass of any sort to you Steve but what process was that that was that started and aren't we at the end of it? And then what does it even look like when it's over? 
Jacob talking today about Egypt and being thrown out and the Egyptians and the end of evil. How, what does that look like? In, in my life alone, how's that going to look? The, just one day, somebody's going to appear at my door and it's going to look like Jonathan Kleck. It may not even be him. It might be somebody else. But in order for me to really, truly believe that everything is finished in my own life itself would be a drastic difference meaning I don't wake up in the morning to go to a job ever again but how does that happen and why would that happen what does it look like for the people that that's going to happen too I was watching Boldly and he was talking about he's, he's ready for his paycheck back when I was met him down by the river when he was in his van and so that reminded me of how people are waiting for you know their paycheck they're they've been promised their retirement so in other words I feel like a lot of people have been promised exactly what I desire for myself to happen in my life for the work that I put in but receiving it because it was earned in a way of taking people's abuse. That's where you earn it. For the ones that abused me, you don't earn that. You don't earn retirement because you've given the abuse in my direction because you were following what your father, Satan, told you to do. Now, you don't, you don't deserve anything except for God's wrath. And then... And then when you repent, some repented earlier. But what does it look like? And who and and can I get a witness? Is it a is it six years? Like does God do His work in six years, and then on the seventh day He rests? But when and then for. Don't be ignorant because a day is as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. And even a day as a year. Don't be ignorant of these things. For six years, God does his work. And he does it through the YouTube platform. He does it in the temple, which is the YouTube temple. The temple police... You know, Matty Yahoo, Glop of Truth, uh, Jerry from Alight, and all the people that pretended to be my friend. Not that I was looking for you guys to be my friend. I, I just thought it was cool that I found a bunch of people I thought was like-minded, but they were really double-minded in all their ways. And I realized that after the fact. But... The YouTube police, the temple guards, are you guys, the, like the the children. Because I always wondered, all right, so look, you guys that run the entire planet system to have YouTube channels and act like you don't run the system, but, I mean, you act that way, but when you're speaking, you're not denying it. So I appreciate you being honest, even though it's... You have to interpret tongues in order to get the honesty, but for the for the for you guys, it's like, why are you acting like when you're gonna get another strike and your channel's gonna get shut down? One of you has owned a damn platform completely, and and another one runs the entire platform. Like one of you has created it, one of you has owned it, the other one manages it. And then there's a bunch of YouTube temple police, temple guards, Pharisees, Sadducees, serpents, liars, and people that actually love to lie. You're all on this platform. It's actually the house of God is what it is. Judgment starts first at the house of God. So when did God start his work? Did he start in 2018 when 
the 70 years was up, 70 AD, the temple being destroyed. Because if so, how often do you have to, how often do you have to forgive your brethren? Well, Jesus said uh, 70 times, seven times. So 70 years and then seven more years. I mean, that's 2025. That's a long way away right now. That's three years away. To deal, to deal with the same repetitive, just whatever, you have no choice, right? Suck it up, buttercup. Just deal with it. It's your life. However, I'd rather hear like this, like this month is it's over, Rob, and it's over. You, your work is done. We're gonna let you. You're gonna go. I mean, that's what I really want to hear, and I want to believe it, and I want to see it. Your work is finished here on this platform. We appreciate what you've done. We're gonna take over now. We're we're all gonna finally uh, speak up publicly, and put an end to this we're, we're taking you off the gang stalking list and everybody you've ever come across has to tell the truth about their job that they used to have because they got fired from it because the app uh, stopped working and then whether that stops immediately altogether or it stops on my behalf for me for what I've dealt with I don't know I heard Kim, he said something about next year, just one more year, and you'll be a billionaire. You're not with dollar bills. And then that made me think, well, what about a year before that? Would somebody come to you with a deal with money? But all you gotta do is wait another year and it's about the treasures of the entire planet. Because that would be 2023. But I started in 2000. I started in 2017. Right around uh, Easter. April 2nd, 2017. The beginning of April. I started... It's been five years. It's going on six years now for myself. So at the end of six years, next year, 2023, I mean, it's only nine months away. If I, if I want to look at it like that, it's like nine months away. It's not so bad. Ten months, really. And then going into the seventh year. Because I had a, I had a thought... May 21st, 2011, when Harold Camping was warning us about God's judgment coming upon the earth and with Satan keep being cast down to the earth. And when Jonathan Kleck started his YouTube channel around 2011, uh, I forgot what exact day, but a lot of people started around that time. And so being cast down to the earth, Satan being cast down to the earth back in 2011, with Harold Camping... Getting as much recognition as he did. I, that'd be something if he was actually a Mason. And he was part of the organization. But I tend to believe he was just someone like myself. That really, truly believed in God. The, the spirit in heaven and not a man. And was proclaiming it. And got mocked plenty of times. Predicting things that happened. But... It all happened spiritually, so because people, he got mocked by people who were spiritually blind, but yet the ones that it took place with spiritually woke up because of it. So maybe, just maybe, with all that recognition that Christ is returning, and in 2011, and then all of a sudden Jonathan Kleck shows up 
in 2011. A couple other people showed up 2011. So I think Jacob, you might have showed up then. I have to check your about page. Kim Jean, I think you started in 2009. Because, yeah, because it was a 12 year period. Going into the 13th year, number 13. But the entire world knew about, basically, just about, the entire world knew about May 21st, 2011, Harold Camping and the warning of the end of the world, uh, October 21st, 2011. And I mean, that, that still is around the corner, so that's in 11 years, 11 years. But I think... I think Jonathan Clegg could have used that that recognition of Christ returning as Christ returning. And then with the two cabals, and then with the two different ideas of who Jesus would be, and then also depending on your your host body, like Christ in you and being inverted and and you know, Christ being the tree of life and the tree of life that produces fruit and and the spark of life and that whole the whole world that's why there's that interpretation of Jesus Christ being someone of that nature. Because that would be seven good, seven plentiful years, and then the last seven, I can, I can, I'd it's like from 2011 to 2018. You know, it wasn't so bad. I mean, I, I think it was pretty good. It was, the economy was pretty good, and rent wasn't so bad. 2011, I was paying 1,100 a month. Two years before that, I was paying five or eight fifty a month for my place, but it was like seven years of plenty up until 2018, which would be, you know, 2011 could have represented the 69th week, and then the 70th week, which was seven years later, 2018, the 70th year, and then seven more years from that point on. May 21st, 2018, and then May 21st, 2025. I mean, it's less than three years. If So I'll just look at it like that. Maybe it's three years, and, and I just got to endure to the end, but I'm sure hoping it's sooner than that. And I'm hoping that Steve Benoon, Jonathan Kleck, and uh, you know, one other person can can actually just come through and and give the exact timeline. When does it end? The gang stalking. When does that end? The the lies, all the nonsense. When does it stop? Because there's an eventuality to this. It's written. It has to be fulfilled. It can't just keep going on and on and on and being drug out. I'm just, I'm worn out because it's been drug out for so long. But because I came into it with a mindset thinking, I'm hopping on this YouTube platform. I'm coming in right at, basically right before the 70th week, 70 years, and then, and then that's it. We're going to be done. And then lo and behold, three and a half years go by after that, and we're still, nothing's changed. It's only gotten worse and more sickening and disgusting. The reality of just Satan's world and people in it, and it does never seems like it's going to change. And, and I'm sure the gang stalkers, 
at this moment don't feel like anything's ever going to change and it's always going to be in their favor and they're always going to be sneaky and slimy and well yeah, I mean some of them some people they think they're real slick right because they're because they're sneaky but they're not sneaky at all it's just obvious and then what do you say what do you say What do you say when you know people will straight lie when you confront them about being a gang stalker? You just let them be, be the gang stalker that they are. That they are. And let God handle it. But that's the thing. Being a demon must be so much easier because... You're already part of the group, the organization. You got your promises, your beliefs, your system. You you actually know when the ending is. And, you know, so I guess just looking for that. I mean, it doesn't hurt to ask if, if a couple of my friends could kind of just give a collaborated timeline where... And what it looks like. What does it look like? Because it doesn't look like the second 9-11 is ever going to happen. And if it does, well then that would be the time. Because happening in Philadelphia, and I don't know anybody has ever said anything about Philadelphia. Or eat, there's not even a, t a... There's not even a... A second 9-11 title on YouTube. No, nobody owns that except for me. I got a, like a thousand of them. Second 9-11, second 9-11, in Philly, second 9-11, destruction. So if that ever happened, for me, that, that would be that moment because the energy that changes from that point on, it just would be astronomical. Would I go to jail? Well, I may be questioned, but there's no way in hell I could, would stay in jail. Would I be grabbed by the scruff of the neck? Maybe that's how that works. But that's not certain. So how does anything even change? Is it Nineveh? Did they all repent? Or does Nineveh get spared by being destroyed? Like as in a Taurus, like where Philadelphia needs needs attention, but in order to become greater and build back better uh, and a Taurus attraction, that second 9-11 happens there. And in every one of my predictions that I've ever had, all the doubt and and all that stuff goes away. And then the spirit and people as I come across them will be a lot different. Just the whole, my entire world would change for that. But was that, was that stopped because it was predicted or is it still going to happen? Because why would Jonathan Click waste all that time? showing you the future bombings on the money that it's his artwork that I believe he drew because of being part of the Federal Reserve owning the banks and the systems and being in part of the Rothschilds or the Rockefellers or whoever it is that runs this entire world down here because this is Satan's backyard it's no big deal for you guys that run this entire system for me it's a big deal because I was born in your anthill as an ant, speaking up. And I didn't get stomped on. Although, people have tried to stomp my channel down, but it didn't work, so. But anyway, how does it, how does it look? Because, in the beginning, I mean, I was pretty much like the past three years I, I've been hooked 
I'm thinking something's going to take place. I probably wouldn't have done that many videos if Jonathan Cleck wasn't so interested in communicating back and forth. And he probably wouldn't have done so many videos either. But he's supposed to be looked at as someone that's a nobody. And can you imagine if I... Like, I found these people, the top people, the most important people that run this entire system on the YouTube platform behind certain masks and to find out that they would be women or, or you know, or male and female and to find out that I found them a long time ago and then to come to find out that they are the top people, the top ears that I got the attention of and I've been following them, studying, searching, and, um, and becoming like friends. So at some point, heaven either comes down to earth in my life first, because I, I'll get the experience, that moment of it's all over. It's all over, Robin. You, you're, you've done your job here's your new life it's given it's given to me because it's it's God's reward and this is what God is God is having faith in something that's unseen and knowing it's going to happen just not knowing when so just like when I went to jail for that year and a half and I had no idea when I was getting out until the day I got out which sucked because you can't you know, you just, you don't know when the frick you're done. So I'm in that same pickle where I've been at it for, I've been at it for five years. This is my sixth year. Going on year six. The power to act for 42 months. With Kim saying, and is given a power to continue for 42 months. I mean, come on. You're talking about another 42 months? Oh. But when it's all said and done, how does it look? Who do I see first? And where do, where do I see you at? Do you just come to my front door? Because I had two witnesses come to my front door a few years back claiming that Gematria told them to come to my front door. They're there, uh, and the other one's in the car waiting, and uh, they'll just wait right there all night on the front porch until my wife said she was going to call the cops. And But that's what they wanted us to do, so the cop can come and be part of it. But that was fake, and... Does that, is, does that happen again? Does somebody try to play that same role? And why why the secrets? Why, why can't people just be straight up anymore? You run the entire planet. What, what's, what are you hiding from? Is it just a way of getting more people to be, to, to be awakened? to get the most doubt and just keep the straight evil system all the way through to the very end. And then that's when people get converted. Because I I've lost the interest is what I'm saying. I'm trying to I'm trying I'm trying I'm asking for some help with some motivation. Is there a way that Jonathan Cleck, you can, you can tell me, Steve Benoon, is there a way? Can you just say it? What year is it? And then is it in the middle of the year? Is it around the May period where summer is near? But you know how many times I've heard that and been strung along? I just can't be strung along too much longer because it's, it, it, uh, you know, God told me to tell you guys to tell me the timeline. How's that? He really did. 
He's pushing it for me to know. He wants me to know. But he knows that he has to, he can't just tell me. He has to use other witnesses to collaborate the story together. Is it a six year process? Like God does his work for six years on the YouTube platform and I get to witness the entire six years? Or is it seven? And is it seven starting from 2018, which would really suck? Because that means seven plentiful years and seven, you know, those ugly cows eat the other ones or some, something like that. So can I get some help? I know I've helped Jonathan Cleck stay motivated all this time while he's in prison. And I didn't realize it. And so I'm just asking for the same thing in return. Just a timeline, please. Somebody, help me out. Help me with some motivation so I can continue. 